Tableau Christian's Lexi Bailiff at the OIO Prep Profile Spotlight tonight. Not only is she the leader of the FCA at Temple Christian, but last winter she also became just the second Lady Pioneer Bowler to make it the district. And she did it as a junior. Going to districts was really fun. It really helped me to uh, be strong um, and know that like God can use me through that and that I have a purpose you know, in my sports and athletics and whatever I do to glorify him. And if I do that, they he'll uh, bless me in that in return. Bailiff saw tremendous growth on her bowling team last year. We had a foreign exchange student and it was cool to get to minister to her through that. And uh, we had new bowlers, so they were able to learn more about the sport and get involved and have some fun you know, along with that. And it was also our first year having Coach Jack Hamill. He's been a huge inspiration to me and to many people and really encouraged us not only in our sport but in our faith. We prayed with many of our teams. We got to minister to them through that. We met some really cool people and were able to uh, shine the light in those ways. And I really enjoyed that and learned a lot through those experiences. And the senior learned from 48 hours this summer at FCA Leadership Camp. It's definitely shown me more of what it means to be a leader and to rise. I really like the promo that they have for this year and the theme uh, to rise and to be strong and courageous that uh, is shown in a lot of different ways some you may not realize, like just being able to be an encouragement to others in your school and to go out and do things that may be uncomfortable, like there's uh, courage that's involved in that and sometimes you don't always realize that, so just those everyday acts of spiritual bravery that we can take that may cause some sacrifice or even more discipline but are so worth it in the long run. Bailiff will be outside her comfort zone this winter as the Pioneers don't have enough bowlers for a ladies team this year so she'll compete with the boys during team competition. We didn't have enough to make a girls team so we didn't get to have that again this season but I'll still be able to compete individually as a girl in sectionals and singles which are coming up uh, not this weekend but next.